Tiger men's basketball team a week or so into preparation for the 2015-2016 season, and we're joined by the head coach, Kim Anderson. And coach, um, a few practices in, what, what are some of your early thoughts as uh, you take a look at this group that's uh, got some new faces from last year? We do, and, and we have a lot of competition, and I think that's the thing that's probably excited me the most is that um, you know, every day has been a very competitive situation. Um, you know, we, we've got some young guys who are pushing some of the guys who've been here. And so, you know, that's the atmosphere we kind of want to create because, you know, anytime you have a year like we did, you know, last year, you obviously got to get better. And so the new guys have done a good job of, of, of putting some pressure on the old guys. You've only got one senior in, in Ryan Rosberg, but you got this this big sophomore class that returned the the bulk of it. And, and what it what how much of a difference maker is that to have those guys back after a full year in the program? Well, it's big. Uh, you know, we we have six new guys, and we we have like six old guys. And uh, you know, the the older guys, and I say older guys. I mean, we have 15 guys on our roster, and 11 of them are freshmen and sophomores. But the older guys have done a good job of helping the young guys kind of show them what we need to do and where they need to be and uh, that's what we need we need some leadership and that's something that we missed a year ago and we're getting there we're getting there I'm, I'm really pleased with the first five practices what impresses you about the freshmen that have come in oh I think their I think their competitiveness their energy um, they've all been coached really well uh, they know they, they really know how to play the game uh, and just the, the level of enthusiasm that they've brought. And uh, every day, I can't, I can't think of a day since June that those, those four freshmen haven't brought it. You know, they haven't always been great, but they've always played hard. And, uh, you know, that's, that's about all I can ask for from a young group of guys like that. And hopefully that will carry over. And they've certainly improved. And uh, so I think you'll see, uh, uh, you'll see most of them play in significant time. Terrence Phillips seems like a guy that's kind of grabbed some reins as a freshman, first year in the program. Is he the kind of guy that, that could possibly start and really lead this offensive uh, attack? No, he could. You know, I mean, uh, you know, he's a guy that's got leadership qualities. He, he's a guy that doesn't really concern himself with scoring. He's more concerned with winning and more concerned with, you know, getting the ball to the right people uh, at the right place. So. Uh, you know, I, I don't know who's going to start. I, I really think that it's a wide open uh, deal right now. There's just a lot of guys that are uh, competing. And again, when you don't have a good year, nobody's got anything since, you know. And, uh, but, but most of our guys have worked really hard in the offseason and uh, have gotten bigger and stronger and better. You know, we spent a lot of time on skills, fundamentals. So, uh, you know, hopefully that will all carry over. Wes Clark is back for his junior season and recovered from that uh, elbow injury. And then you've also got the uh, JUCO transfers, Woods and Payne. What can they bring to this team for a group that needs some experience at the top? Well, Wes brings definite experience, you know, and he's a guy who's who's physically healthy. Uh, he's been a, he's been under the weather. He's had the flu, but but he's physically a, a guy who's been on the floor and in big competition. Uh, so, you know, I'm hoping that he and Ryan Rosberg can provide some experienced leadership. And then, uh, you know, Martavian Payne and Russ Woods are guys who have played in junior college. They're a little bit older. Um, they've played great competition, played on a great team, uh, went to the national uh, tournament in junior college. So they've kind of been through it too. And so now it'll be a little different starting off here. but. They certainly have brought some experience to our to our practices, and, and hopefully that will carry over to games. As we look forward to October 30th when you'll have your open scrimmage on Mizzou Halloween and Hoops Night on the Friday, October 30th, what do you want this team to focus on as you look towards that date as maybe the next marker in your preseason preparation? Well, I, I think two things, and, and you know, this is, you know, I've said this before, but I think defensively we've got to get better, um, and we have gotten better. Uh, and then, and then offensively, we got to be able to score, and that means we have to execute better. That means we have to take advantage of other teams' mistakes, and it means we got to get the ball to the basket. We just can't stand around on the outside and shoot jump shots all night. Uh, you know, we're we've got good shooters, but you can't win that way. So we got to get the ball to the basket, create some contact, you know, and hopefully get to the foul line and, and create some easy points, which is something we didn't do a year ago. 
Coach, thanks for your time. All right, thanks. That's head coach Kim Anderson. Be sure to check out his team in their black and gold scrimmage at Mizzou Halloween and Hoops. It's right here at Mizzou Arena on Friday night, October 30th. We'll hope to see you then.